Hey everybody, James Jacob with Response, and I have a confession. I read some of the owner's manual. <laughs> the uh, the MC1. Uh, this gun has been really fun. If you've been watching my Instagram, I've been putting some little short clips up and stuff like that. Clipses up, not magazines, clips. <laughs> um, and uh, this gun uh, has been fun to shoot, um, very fun to shoot. And I've got about 500 rounds through it right now. Um, and I've just I've just had it a short time, and so I've been letting students shoot it and friends shoot it and stuff like that, and uh, and it does shoot a little bit to the left, so I need to, I do I do need to move the sight, uh, but uh, but that's it. I'm, and let's uh, let's talk about cleaning this thing, and um, so we can keep it running for a long time. Here we go. All right, guys, let's go get a, get cleaning on this um, MC1. Uh, I've never taken it apart, but I have. But I have slept in a Holiday Inn Express. <clears throat> this is a slide to cover, plate down, and you know, I've read it all. Uh, pull that out, and then you should be able to take the slide off. So the gun is empty, and we are looking for an empty chamber. If you said brass, you were about to have your first negligent or 15th negligent discharge. So we're going to let it go forward. <clears throat> there is use this breakthrough pick. There is a button on the slide. This, that's, that's a button. So uh, lock it open uh, so I can kind of demonstrate this because it pulls out here. Or maybe it's gotta be forward, I don't know. <laughs> it couldn't be, it couldn't, it couldn't be forward because it has to, because it has to slide out. Oh, I just, I just didn't have the button depressed far enough. And I don't know if anything's going to spring out of this thing or not, so I'm going to cover it with my hand uh, when I when I take it out. So I, I didn't, uh, I wasn't pushing the button down far enough. <clears throat> that was the problem. So there's the, obviously the striker pin guide and uh, it's got oil on it. <laughs> oh, probably some kind of packing or shipping oil. This has not been lubricated since I've gotten it. <clears throat> so, well, uh, yeah, comes right off the front there. Okay, so that's pretty Pretty simple dimple. This has got it right about 500 rounds through it of uh, Fiocchi. And uh, well, there was plenty of oil on it from the factory. <laughs> um, oil down in the striker pin channel. And I usually don't mess with the striker pin channel, but gotta get that oil out of there. Gotta get most of this oil off. Way too much oil on it. I'll go ahead and spray it on, the, on there. Just get this breakthrough solvent's great because it doesn't stink. Move the mags out of the way. It's great because it doesn't stink. Uh, so you can clean, you know, in a confined area, or your wife won't yell at you if you're if you're near the house or whatever. But uh, just scrub with the brush. And this this cleaning method works with the, with any basic basically you know modern pistol. Um, just scrub it out. Scrub the rails, uh, especially that it runs on. Clean those out. And then uh, the brake brake free comes with one one of these lint free lint free cloths, and uh, it works. The, the lint free is the best because otherwise you you have all this stuff in your gun, and it can accumulate in your gun lint and pieces of thread and things like that, and uh, and uh, cause you issues down the road. No matter what people think, I don't make this stuff up. Why would I? Why would I make up something about a towel? So lint lint free is the best. So I just wipe it all off, and uh, and if I was a little bit more worried about this, I'd probably get a um, Q-tip and uh, put down in there. But you have to be careful with the Q-tip that the tip doesn't come off. You don't leave excess cotton down in there and stuff like that. Uh, but just to get the rest of that oil out of there. But uh, but I'm sure that's going to be fine. And that breakthrough clean is will will dissolve that oil, and it'll just it'll just run out on its own. Uh, that's what that <clears throat> people people think that little hole right there is for oiling. That's for crap to fly out of the striker pin channel, and they put oil down in there and uh, causes problems. So so don't do that. So I bet this is going to be pretty standard uh, oiling. Uh, so top there. Which is which we usually put on the hood, but I get what they're saying. One there, one there. Yeah. Okay. 
Just put one there and put one around the barrel. That's that's too much oil. It's, just, it's the same surface. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put it here. Uh, then uh, soft cotton. Okay. So yeah, pretty standard stuff. No no big deal there. I'm going to use uh, use the grease. Let's uh, finish cleaning this thing. Just. Scrub, 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 scrub. Oh yeah, and on on the pistol, particular attention to the front of the of the breech. Uh, particular attention to that. Arguably the thing that needs to, the most cleaning on the slide, and then uh, on on the uh, barrel, the the lugs. Very important. If your uh, barrel was excessively dirty. Um, you may choose to run one of the uh, breakthrough bore snakes through it. These are great for a couple of reasons. Number one, they have a label on them that tells you what caliber it is because they all start looking like the same caliber after a while. But it also has a changeable brush up front. Most of these do not have a changeable brush, so when it wears out, it's just gone. With these, you can you can reuse them, so that's, a, that's really cool. Uh, I don't need it this time. Uh, I don't always clean the bore of my guns, and this one certainly doesn't need it. It hasn't had enough done to it yet. So... Scrape the scrape, scrub the rails off, and if I needed to, any, to you know, scrape any ex excess crap off, these these uh, breakthrough picks are really solid, really tough. They you might not think so. They're some kind of polymer blend of polymer fiberglass and magic. I don't know, whatever, but they work real well. Also, don't neglect the, the magazine well. I called these magazines on the video, I call these magazines translucent. And the guy wanted to argue with me and say, no, they're transparent uh, instead of translucent. And uh, so I, uh, while you're waiting for me to finish cleaning this thing, you can go look up the definition and tell that guy I can suck my dick. Uh, so cleaned it off here. So I'm gonna look back here, yeah. And I see right exactly where the spot of oil will go on this thing. Pretty, pretty standardized kind of a thing. The uh, recoil spring, I usually, I usually don't do much to. Um, I certainly don't lubricate it. And that's one area people keep putting oil on. And, <laughs> and they don't understand how springs work when they do that. But the spring is not a bearing surface. Um, the, uh, the striker, I'm going to spray some uh, cleaner on it. And uh, that'll help dissolve the oil, break it down, and wipe all the excess oil off this thing. That's, uh, I do not want that on here. And uh, that is the, the striker from the MC1. All right. So, let's see, do, 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 do. Okay, that was that. So, now lubrication. Uh, so if we imagine these are our pieces and parts, three drops of oil, two drops of oil, one drops, one drop of oil. I say oil, but we'll, we'll, I'll use say lubricant. This this uh, for this video I'll use grease. I got to cut the tip. On the I use grease. In other videos I've used oil. Um, either either works. Uh, grease is what I recommend for a carry gun or any heavy use, simply because. Uh, it stays where you put it. So when you when you squeeze these things, if you just set it down, it'll continue squirting out. So pull back on the plunger after you put your uh, lubricant down. That way you don't you don't waste any. So when I say a drop, I'm going to talk tell you what I mean by a drop of of grease. Hold on a second. Like that. So I'm going to use six. Of those and that's that's even a big drop <laughs> so I'm gonna put one drop right here nothing came out just I'm not I'm trying to make sure I don't put too much in as I demonstrate this so that's one drop there on the other side one drop there not a, not a bunch of lube going in here one drop here so that that's the that's the three drops for the slide and I want to just reach down here in the slide kind of move that around a little bit and that'll be 
be just fine. Okay, so on the barrel, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do one drop here. Oh, <laughs> that's two. <laughs> I'm going to take one of those drops off <laughs> and put it back here. And we want to make sure that this gets lubricated on the, on the sides there. This wires from here to here. So we're going to do that. And that's actually too much. I'm going to take some of that off on the barrel. And uh, so goes in there. The recoil spring goes in here. So that is the the top done. Uh, that's the three and the two. Now we're going to do the one. And the one, let me get this pick so I can point exactly. Do, do, do. The one goes right there. Right there. And so I'm going to Oop, I got, I got more, more than a drop there, but it'll be okay. So that's where the, the trigger works back and forth, and that'll all find its way to where it needs to be. So three, two on the barrel, one in the frame. Slide this thing back on. Lock it back. Drop the striker in. This will be the trickiest part. We got a that's got spring pressure on it. And <laughs> use one of these picks with the flat side. <laughs> this will be one of those things I'll find out how to do this after I do the video so you guys all see me do it like a retard so that's on the back there just kind of give the gun a general wiping wipe any excess fluids off of it because I don't want it to be slippery in my hand and uh Feels okay, so just a quick function check. I'm looking for an empty chamber. Pressing the trigger, gun goes click. Trigger resets. Trigger resets. Press the trigger, but not the trigger safety shoe in the middle. Does not go. That is a complete function check. So that's it. Uh, a lot of oil on it when it came from the factory. So that's a warning to all you guys that, that uh, have bought one. Um, you know, it wouldn't be... I, I don't usually tell people to clean a gun before they shoot it, uh, but I would clean that oil out. I'd, I'd clean that, that striker pin channel out, get that oil out of there and b before I started. Um, if I... It, 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 and it didn't cause a problem in 500 rounds, so it won't cause you a problem in 500 rounds. But just for, for me... Uh, if I had it to do all over again, especially if I got this gun and I was going to give it as a gift to a loved one or something like that, I would take it apart, uh, degrease it, oil it, lubric lubricate it properly before I gave it to them. That's all. No big deal. It's a great little gun so far. It's shooting It's shooting awesome. A super accurate little pistol. Super accurate little pistol. Um, and I look forward to uh, getting some more rounds through it. If you come to a class, if I'm around, if the pistol's around, you're more than welcome to shoot it. So... Mossberg MC1, Mossberg so far, I got to give you an A plus on it, seems to be working great, uh, very shootable, very controllable, very accurate, very reliable, no no issue, no reliability issues at all in the first 500, of course I'm shooting quality Fiocchi ammunition, so there, I, sh I don't expect there to be any problems, but there always could be. This is Jim Jacob for that response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.